the second stereotypical model in BCE modeling and BCE analysis is the control class. Obviously, the control class on these analysis classes is the one that takes care of the flow of the events. This means that the control class, more or less, is the algorithm or implementation of some computing algorithm or in classical sense uh, a algorithm for search or indexing or sorting algorithm meaning that it's a component which does something that uh, relies on heavy mathematics and it really doesn't have any other place to exist or it's more sensible or critical part that has to be implemented so that it's easy to optimize or replace the component if we come up with a better solution uh, during the long run. The control class doesn't take care of uh, collecting the information or doesn't uh, sh uh, care about showing the information. That's the work of boundary class. So in the most uh, divided uh, divided task uh, concept, the boundary class is the one that has to take care about formatting the information and the control class is simply the one doing the data manipulation or calculations. So, on UML charts and on other places, the control class is usually represented by a circle with an arrow. It implicates that the control class is doing something or it's running an algorithm and usually it's something that exists be, uh, as a connected class to uh, entities which store the data and boundaries which show or collect the information. So these three different approaches are all the ways the control class is usually shown or implemented or given in a visual uh, design applications and in UML. Anyway, uh, like boundary was heavily uh, influenced by the actual platform or the real practical implementation of boundary class was actually uh, really uh, influenced by the applied platform, the control class is actually something that sometimes disappears entirely. On some approaches, on some event-driven languages or event-driven programming uh, styles, the control class can uh, disappear because the boundary has events or event-driven activities which can include really complicated source code. So basically what it means that the control class goes inside the boundary. Also, uh, the control class is not absolutely necessary since on some occasions the activities are so simple that there's no need for separate uh, components which are only doing something that's really complicated or mathematic or such. So, overall, uh, it's sometimes possible that the boundary class can execute the use case without control class or that uh, there's no need to define your activity separately because of the software architecture or the applied platform. But in any case, in BCE deep analysis, it's uh, the first implementation that's at, and the first design implementation in which the control class should have defined role. If it disappears or if the roles of the control class are distributed among the other components, then it's up to the designers or developers to decide if that's a good idea or not. In this simple example, I uh, want to illustrate how this idea works. So there's the main form and our form and project management interface, which are the boundary classes. They are the connections which collect information and which show information to the user. There's a how our input control as a control class. It's a system that 
or class that actually has the role of ensuring that there's not more than 60 minutes per hour or that there's not more than 24 hours per day in the hour uh, in the hour for me informing and also might do something like formatting and that sort of things. The connections here go to entity classes which stores the hour input information into the employee database entry and our row database entry. So basically this this shows the classical distribution of work. Entities save stuff, uh, boundaries show stuff and the control class does the all the analysis and data sanity checking work although in real life it could be possible that even the hour form submit event could include the source code or activities which would make this control class useless or on the other hand the database management system might have some internal sanity checks which would uh, see that one employee can't have more than 24 hours per day for their schedules.